Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Talk to me about this as well then, right? So there's another theory I've got, right? For a team like Burnley, to get European football, it's a problem, I think. It's a problem. It's a problem. Going into the next season, you know when oh, you've got yeah, to start sorry, yeah, back? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've got yeah. to start back. Like, well, we didn't win a game. When, that's what I mean. Yeah, you've got yeah. to start back in June. Yeah. You need, basically, you need two squads, don't you? Yeah. yeah you, we didn't have a big enough squad. We yeah. we played sort of in Istanbul on, on the Thursday night and then we were playing Southampton away on the on the Sunday. Um, we drew that game, but then we lost, I think, three games in a row. Playing, We played Olympiacos away and then I think we were United at home and, and got beat and we were just all knackered. Like, it just wasn't sort of... Um, yeah, viable for us to yeah to, to do it con- continue that yeah and it's difficult yeah especially people, with a small squad people think like Europeans brilliant oh, we're going on European adventure and stuff like that but like I say you do, they don't realise the, the kind of the logistics involved yeah. in all this kind and, of stuff yeah and I think for me that looking at the top players that do it week in week out you, the admiration yeah, like, for them doing that, yeah. it and that you're like fair play to you yeah. it's like you know you're playing on the Tuesday or a Wednesday and you've got a big game on a Saturday morning and you're like how do, how do they do it constantly and, and perform at that top level? You think that I totally agree. So like, many you know. teams, so many teams struggle, don't they? When yes. they when they hit, I mean, even look at West Ham last season. Obviously, they en- ended up having an unbelievable season, and I think the European trips are they're definitely for the fans, aren't they? Without like, doubt, it's amazing for the fans to go yeah. and you know all these European jollies. And actually, last season it, it did work out for West Ham, but they, they didn't have they the greatest league yeah. campaign, they did they? they? Yeah, did. they, they had a really bad start. Yeah. They had to pick it up later on because they yeah, were in genuine yeah. threat for a bit, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, no, they were. were. And I think if you've not got that squad, yeah, that, you know, you do struggle. You struggle a little bit. Yeah. Um, I want to throw some um, Burnley players' names at you, and you can give us um, a little bit of a rundown of what they are as a player, or as a person, all that kind of stuff. First of all, though, I want to start with um, the famous goalkeeping um, department at Burnley because at one point at Burnley, right, and we have said this. <laughs> That it was, it's probably one of the best. We talked about it with Nick Pope, trio. Yeah. One of the best goalkeeping trio yeah. Yeah. a Premier League team could probably hope to have. Actually, do you know what? Casper Schmeichel, I'm going to shout you out on here, Casper, because he then texted me and said, Hold on a minute. At one point, we had uh, Shea Given, Joe Hart, and Casper Schmeichel <sighs> at Man City. And I went, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Casper's right. Oh, yeah, one. fair dues, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. frightening, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a, that's a good trio. That's a good trio. Um, so, Joe Hart, Nick Pope, Tom Heaton, talk yeah. to me individually and also about. How how that was when you've got them three goalkeepers playing for you? Um, I mean, yeah. How do you how do you pick from from those three? Um, you know, Harty came in and, and you know I think started the season yeah. for us. And there I was think, some injury. I think, I think Tom injuries. was injured, wasn't yeah, he? Popey did his shoulder. Popey did his shoulder. Did, yeah. um, so Harty came in uh, for us. You know, legend, yeah. uh, Man City legend. I, I played with him at City when he first came really, from Shrewsbury. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the in the reserve team and uh, yeah, unbelievable like career and everything like that coming in. Great sort of to have him around the dressing room. Uh, really good personality and a really positive person yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, been through Energy. a lot in, in his career. Energy, yeah, and <laughs> been through a lot like coming from Man City and and sort of getting told that you know he had a great career there yeah. and then getting told that you know about leaving and um, finding his way again. Um, so we had something to prove and uh, yeah, heats love heats to death. Like yeah. he's you know he's. Uh, quality a great guy as well and unbelievable keeper um what about yeah. the stories about heats was it, was it joe saying or someone saying about doing like finger weights in the gym like diving the around visualization visual like diving Keeps full length weird, with no one that's, no, that, I don't, that's weird that, tom is yeah. weird like with stuff yeah, like tom's, that tom's tom's got so many things that he just like, he won't watch like football the day before a game and he, what he, he, like, he just like little things to get his mind sort of focused and yeah, just the, yeah. What do you mean he won't down. watch football the day before a game? Yeah, so like a Friday night you're in a hotel or whatever, you just wouldn't like watch, watch the night game. You wouldn't watch the Friday no, night he'd game. No, you writing stuff down in his room, and I don't know. Yeah, he's uh, very what's the what? I don't what? know. I can't I don't wait know. to get like, Tom yeah. on. I can't yeah, get him wait. on. Get, get Mate, all the best trying to get Tom Eaton on. Right, I have texted that guy honestly <laughs> about about yeah. thirty times. Mate, are you available this week? Are you available next week? He's like, I can't do, can't do this, and that's when he actually does reply because he is the worst <laughs> text backer I have seen in yeah. a long time. Tobacco. Text the backer, <laughs> um, and then Nick Pope as yeah, well. Popey, yeah, he's a great guy, and um, I, what a keeper as well. Like yeah. he's, he's been phenomenal um, for the past few seasons. Like some of the saves he makes, he just like makes them look Crazy, so easy. It? Like I think I think people don't realize how tough some of the like, how good some of the saves yeah. he makes because he just he's so big and yeah. long and that he makes some incredible saves. Uh, I know people going about his feet and things, but he makes up for it for me. Like he's for me, he's the best England keeper. Really, like, yeah. I think he's, I think he's unbelievable. 
Um, and he's, he's doing great in Newcastle. So yeah, I love yeah. Pope. He's, I've said this, I know I say it's a lot, but if I need a goalkeeper, I'm picking Nick Pope. I yeah, so am I. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. picking Nick Pope. Yeah, yeah. I know what I'm going to yeah. get from you. Stop that ball going in the back of the net, please, Nick. That'll do for me. Give the ball, give the ball to the good ones and let the good ones do the playing with the football. Yeah. You just worry about stopping that ball going in the back of the net. 100% agree with you. Right, that. We've got some more Burnley names, Ben. Let me throw one in yeah, there. Go for it. Great partner of yours. James Tarkowski. 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 Yeah, yeah. Um, another top guy. Uh, we obviously created a really quality yeah, partnership yeah. and um, loves to head things and block things like me. And yeah, we, you know, really good player. Probably should have played more for England as well. I think uh, missed out because he, he played in, in our team and the way we played, I think just didn't suit the yeah. way Southgate wanted to play. And um, yeah, he's. You know, he's at Everton now, um, still blocking and obviously back with the gaffer now. So, <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's, um, I don't know what else to say about him, but yeah, yeah a, a fantastic how, how has he got away with not having a slab head nickname, by the way? Because he has got a massive head tabs. on him. Tabs, he's got tabs at his ears as well. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably hate me saying that, but yeah, uh, he's got a big head, yeah. yeah big head. <laughs> right, who else we got? Um, so I believe you were at City with, with him as well, Kieran Trippier. Yeah, trips. Yeah, um, he's been on some journey, like coming from from Berry, and um, I remember we his, the gaffer's first day, Sean, actually first day at, at Burnley, he picked out trips, like because he's trips like a little bit of a, a night out and that yeah. and stuff, and he's become a lot more professional like these days. But back in the early days, um, literally we were all in the in the canteen and that, and he picks out trips. Says, oh, "I know what you've been doing on Tuesday night, so you won't be doing that anymore, son." <laughs> so he picks him out straight away just to, to lay the law down and um, in front of everybody, front of everybody as well. Yeah, oh, everybody. that's so very done, kind of so Ferguson like, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, I think you've got a lot of traits from from Ferguson. To be fair, he came to training a couple of times. Yeah, um, but yeah, he's he's picked out trips and um, there's there's another one as well at Watford away. Um, <laughs> trips is uh, we've had an international break and. Um, Trips has gone away and we've played Watford the following weekend and uh, Trips has book, booked his flights and that and stuff and printed his boarding pass off on on the like computer in the office. So he's got the printer in the office and um, he's gone to Benidorm with his mates. Oh, so he's come no. back to the following weekend. <laughs> a bit of a, he's not trained very well all week and that and stuff and we get pumped by Watford. So he's going, like, going around the dressing room like hammering everybody and gets the trips and go, and you <laughs> fucking Benidorm. <laughs> so he's obviously someone seen his boarding pass printed off on the on the printer in the in the training ground and uh the gaffer's caught wind of it and that stuff knows he's gone to Benidorm with his with his mates and stuff like that. So anywhere the Benidorm so don't go sloppy. to Benidorm. Yeah. How sloppy so, is that uh, by the way? Yeah. But um <clears throat> but anyway, he's uh he's had some career like going going to Madrid obviously to Spurs oh. as well and Oh, he's yeah, a what? He's, uh, he's unbelievable. His goal in the semi-final yeah. against Croatia. Oh, unbelievable! Eh? So a free kick. I was knew he... that was going in. But yeah, didn't I we? Knew didn't that we was going in. Was he top yeah. scorer in FPL defender last? Oh. He must have been. He's got to. Have he been. must have. Yes. Been. Yeah, Jamie knows. Yeah. Jamie's giving us the thumbs yeah. up. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.